Hello everyone, welcome back to my WordPress blog editor series tutorial. So in our previous part, we have created this website and I have shared with you a lot of things regarding the Spectra blog editor and Gutenberg basically. And in this part, today I'll be showing you how to make the Spectra one theme sticky header activated and also how to activate the scroll to top button. So without further any delay, let's jump into my computer. So you have to first of all log in into your WordPress dashboard and simply you can simply navigate to appearance and editor. And from here you can type here page or pages. After that you can see here selected by spectra. Now when I select spectra you can see there is only options for scroll to top. This is very important to understand what kind of elements you have selected. So I haven't select anything like uh, any elements from the page. I just navigated to the editor and then page. And after that, when I click on Spectra icon, you can see there is an option called Spectra one settings. And from here, I'm going to activate the scroll to top button. Just activate and click save. Reload the page and you can see here there is a nice scroll to top button available and it's working perfectly. Now let's go back to the editor again. Now if you just take a look at here inside the list view I haven't select any elements here. Now if I select header it's selected right now and then click over here called settings and you scroll down you can see here header settings. So please note that you have to use only one of them from here. Like here it's displaying sticky header and transparent header, but you have to choose only one of them. You cannot use sticky and transparent at the same time. There is no built-in options as of now, but you can simply use any of them. Let's say for an example, I'd like to use sticky header as of now. Just activate the sticky header and save changes. After that, reload the page and now you can see if I scroll down the header is streaky and it's working perfectly and it has a little shadow under the header that looks much better without just a simple header it looks really nice now if I go back again and disable the sticky header you can see the transparent header is activated by default now if I click over here the transparent header is activated right now click save changes and reload the page now as you can see the transparent header is visible but we have already added some background color inside our header and that's why it's not working but my goal is here to show you how to display both of them so let's activate the transparent header and let's click on background or container area and go to the background so I have selected the container from here and select the style and you can see here there is a background color let's remove it and when I remove the background color you can see the header is now transparent so as you can see the header is transparent and it's displaying perfectly but I have to adjust the content behind the header like the hero area is going up or below the header because there is a less space and I have to increase the space here inside the hero area so I hope you understand but if you want to adjust more like spacing and everything then you can simply go to the edit page and add some padding top inside the hero area let me do it here from here right now So now what I'm going to do, just select the container and add some padding here. Let's say, okay, so padding top should be 220 as of now, 210 pixel. Reload. And as you can see, this transparent header is visible here right now. It's displaying the background color that I'm using inside the hero area. Let's reduce the spacing here a little bit let's add a spacing once 150 and change the background color of the hero area 
let's make it yellow color and reload the page so as you can see the header is transparent and it's working nicely i hope you understand how it works and if you have any other questions please feel free to ask me at the same time i have a facebook group where you can join and share your work with other learners so uh, you can share your work with other people or with other uh, learners and you can also get feedback from me or any kind of person that is uh, helping others on my group so that's all for today thank you for watching this video